Hi everyone, in this video we will demonstrate how to make use of JSON and XML loader activities. Generally when you have an external XML file or JSON file which has to be imported to agile point across instances, previously we used to call web service instance. So we have introduced new shapes that is XML loader and JSON loader where we can configure XML or JSON file path and load it at runtime. You can configure which value has to be saved in which property of process data. In Agile Point portal in build apps, I have created an application under activity library in documents you have JSON loader activity. Now let us go to the configuration of JSON loader activity. Here we can choose the source repository from which we will access the JSON file. I will select SharePoint click on next here I have configured necessary details such as the access token the site name the document library here I would like to make use of the JSON file which is already present in my library click on next here you have an option to load the content present in the JSON file if you click on load the data present in the JSON file will be loaded over here in this field. In order to import this data into my process fields, I will have to map it. So click on next. Here you can observe that the elements present in the JSON file which I imported is listed down. I have mapped these fields into my process fields. Once the configuration is done, click on finish. Save and publish the application. I have initiated my process through SharePoint. So to view the response, let me come to my task. I will open the task. Here in the form, you can observe that I have successfully imported the content of uh, JSON file in these form fields. Click on submit. Now let me demonstrate one more case. We'll go through the configuration. Select SharePoint, click on next. In this case, I will be dynamically passing the file path. So here I have used a custom attribute to fetch the path in runtime. Now click on next. In this case, since I'm passing the file path in runtime, I will not be able to use the load option. So I will be manually passing the data here which helps me to map the necessary fields. Click on next. Here I have ma mapped my necessary fields to the process fields. Once the configuration is done, click on finish, save and publish the application. In this case, I will be initiating my process through SharePoint. Let me go to my SharePoint page. Here I have created a library. Here I will pass the external JSON file under library. Click on upload document and choose the external JSON file. Now the file path of this file will be dynamically passed to the process field which I have configured. To view the response, now let me go to work center. In work center, open the task. Here you can observe that all the data present in the external JSON file has been imported to my process fields. Let me click on submit. Now let me demonstrate the configuration of XML loader activity. Under activity library in documents, we have XML loader activity. Now let us go through the configuration. Click on next. I will select SharePoint as my source repository. Once done, click on next. Ha here I have configured the necessary access token, the site details and the document library. And in this case, I would like to pass my file path dynamically. So I have uh, 
used a custom attribute here to pass the fi file path in runtime. Once done, click on next. Since I'll be passing the file in runtime, I will not be able to use the load option. So here I will be manually entering the XML uh, structure. Once done, click on next. Here I have done the necessary mapping. Once done, click on finish. Save and publish the application. I will now initiate this process through SharePoint. Under my library, I will upload a document. Here I will be uploading the external XML file. Now to view the response, let me navigate to work center. Here I will open my task. In this form, you can observe that all the data of the external XML file has been imported into my process fields. Now click on submit. So this demonstrates how we can import the external files present in the form of XML or JSON to our Agile Point NX. Thank you.